I am Dr. N. Pradhaap Kumar, MD and Chairman of Meditrina Group of Hospitals, Kailan, Kerala. See, healthcare professionals actually require most of the time, they require satisfaction of their profession. Basically, professional satisfaction is available in some of the management issues or some of the management will not be possible to give you all the machinery, all the materials, what you want to practice. Most of the time, you know, the management is not doing those things, mainly because of the financial crisis or the money generated out of it. That will create a negativity on the professional to grow further. So it is possible only in a research institution. Everybody cannot work in a research institution. That will make a professional to think the reverse. That is why most of the professionals think about as something which can I transform into a businessman or create my own. But the problem there is the money. The financial backup, if it is there, always a professional can do extremely well in transforming to a businessman. In 1997, I became a cardiologist, but I started as a non-invasive cardiologist, which I created as a big business in a small district of Kerala, Iskoilon. After four years, I understood that intervention is the way to go ahead. After training from Italy, then I moved to Bangladesh for a short period where I created a good business and there is a real transformation of that country from a simple intervention to the complex intervention. From there, I came back to a small remote place of Kerala called Pariyaram where on either side is 200 kilometers, Bangalore and Calicut are the major cities available. So the people prefer to go there, but I just blocked that by creating an excellent professional service available with the help of four colleagues of mine. So I could create two or three business portfolio by this time before I come to Manipal, Bangalore, as well as to Trivandrum, where also I created a difference in the business profile or rather a growth in the business, which I thought I can also make a businessman on the coming years. The first issue of the in business is actually how to make a business without money. So what I thought about that, you have, you require a building, you require professionals, you require machinery, everything is costly. So what I thought is the best way for a simple professional having less money to start up in a big hospital where one department can be taken up by you. That department can be modified by you with less investment. So you have everything there. You have housekeeping there, security there, you have CSSD there, you are HR department there, accounts there, everything is there except only your department. We try to mobilize that department with less money, then the investment will become very less and you can make enough money out of it. That is what I did as SIH model which is called a speciality in a hospital. Speciality in a hospital, there are major challenges. For two or three years, till it growing, the people or a parent hospital will accept it. After growth, they will also think that, why this fellow is making money in my hospital, why not me? Even the doctor you create inside the speciality can make a joining with the parent hospital and throw you out of the hospital, which is actually the major challenge in a speciality in a hospital, which actually I also faced. The second way of doing a business is own hospital. Own hospital has two challenges, infrastructure with a land. So you can take a rented building where you can work out a hospital inside and then your hospital will be your own for years or 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, but no hindrance from the parent hospital like that. So in SIH, the hospital can create a problem. Here, nobody can create a problem. Only one issue in a rented building is your expansion will be a hindrance in the future. And there is one more thing. The medical equipment has a depreciation and the land, land and building has an appreciation. That value you create over 10 years will be taken care by the landlord, not by the businessman 
or the healthcare professional who is doing business there. And the third model which I tried was owned hospital, where you buy a land which is expensive, and make a building of your own choice, future expansion possible land, then you start multiple departments. Advantage of multiple department, even if one department not doing well, the other will take over the business of that. And the fourth model is take a joint venture. You take somebody else's land and building, you put the medical equipments and make a building together. So you take a share of that. So that even if you are you cannot be thrown out, that business will have a value in the long run. I tried all these things. The rented building, own building, joint venture. And finally, I went into a model called public-private partnership. In, in business, there are two avenues are real problem. Infrastructure one and marketing is second. The infrastructure and marketing will be provided by the government and you only put the medical equipment and professionals. So by way, the public-private partnership, I feel that's the best model in the country. See, the public-private partnership actually has an advantage as well as a disadvantage. One of the model, one of the public-private partnership model is actually, you just go for a tender. Once you go for a tender, you, are, you have to give the lowest rate, then only you can get the tender. So with a lower margin or a narrow margin, volume business is public-private partnership. I always feel that there are two models should actively done by a businessman at the same time. One is a public-private partnership where you create a volume with a narrow margin, that you create a name in the society. Second model is you create a high margin, low volume business. That is your own building or a rented building. You together grow it together. That means you have an adequate volume, adequate profit. That together you will make a name in the country as well as you make a profit in the business. Young people, I will always tell that you start, start up with an SIH project. Never stop there. Never think that the, hospital, the parent hospital will help you in the future. Naturally, a parallelly, you should think about a, your own rented or a own building to start up the business. That should be the model in your mind. Then only you can prosper in long term if you don't have a land or a building in your back.